Hello everyone and welcome to another War Leader PvMP video. Today I'm going to be showing you some 1 vs 1s and a couple of 2v2s and small group general type fighting stuff that have taken place post update 12.2 uh, I think it is. Um, this is prior to update 13 for Lord of the Rings Online. And basically all stuff right up to about St. Patrick's Day. I'm a little behind on stuff. I've been busy in real life. Uh, part of that has involved moving to California, which is where I am now, and among that move, uh, some of my stuff ended up going in a separate direction, so I do not have my usual headphones and my typical microphone, so the audio quality is going to be a little bit off for this particular episode, so I apologize for that in advance but we will soldier on and come through it anyway. All right, so the first one up is going to be me versus a guardian. And uh, this particular guardian on this day, I ran into him a couple different times and he kept up. Uh, he was just on his horse every time I ran into him riding away. And then the time I caught him, I managed to knock him off his horse and he decided to go ahead and fight. Uh, as you can see, he's only a rank uh, four, it looks like. So he lacks audacity. And looking at the outposts, it looks like it is only you know, one or two outposts for them at most. So I think it's uh, pretty much balanced. I think it's a two, two outpost. That's typically how things are on land of all these days. No one really uh, bumps it out of the status quo when they do to get it to like three or four outposts to none or one. Then the other side typically grabs some outposts pretty quick. Basically, 2v2 is 2 outpost to 2 is where it sits. Uh, anyway, the big difference here is obviously that I'm just melting this poor guy because he doesn't have audacity. Uh, everything I'm throwing at him is just hitting like a truck. I, you can see even my bleeds from Black Speech are hitting pretty decently. Now, he does have a large health morale pool, but uh, it's comparatively tiny because he's only got 25,000 to my 63 so he's, he just isn't very well geared for this I, I'm guessing he came out here to do an exploration deed and stuff like that and you know he did turn and fight I'll give him that but <laughs> now he chooses to just go ahead and run away and this is something that it just it baffles me um, why are you going to try and turn tail and run in this particular fashion I mean he doesn't have any particular destination he's heading towards. He's just running for the sake of running. I mean, look where look where he's gone. He didn't aim towards the Tirith Ra. He didn't go up towards the Red Circle. I think because they're both red right now. So instead of heading towards a nearby friendly camp, he's aimed all the way towards Eisendee Boy outpost nearby there. When if he was gonna try to run, he should have run past me, down towards the crossroads and over to GV to get away. Uh, instead, he doesn't get away. He tries to feed himself to the bears and it doesn't work. Uh, next is Sutri, who, as you can see, has a fishing pole out, and I managed to tag him. And uh, this is, I believe, from the same day that the Kwando fight was. This, this is before that fight actually happens, but it's like the fourth time I've run into a free and tried to tag him and they just rode right by so I was ticked off and annoyed about that but I do see that he's kinda of wandering around he doesn't just keep on running he turns around a little bit here so that gives me a chance to put two more shots onto him doesn't quite get him off his mount but he stops he turns around and that gives me a chance to catch up and knock him off of it now because he's dressed cosmetically that means he doesn't have his armor on so I'm doing a whole lot of extra damage, and he's got his fishing pole out, so he can't really fight back, so this is pretty much just a, a no-win uh, for him. The only real takeaway here is just, if you're gonna run, do it proper. I mean, he waited to, to hit his disappear, or hide in plain sight, far, far too late. Didn't really accomplish anything. Alright, so next up, we've got this here minstrel. And it looks like this particular part of the video frame is just stuck because um, now the computer is getting kind of full. But 
I run into this minstrel inside of Lagazag. He's been soloing his way through here, and he got all the way up to the Captain General, well, the Tyrant Room, because it is owned by us right now. And that's when I decide to jump in and intervene. And what we were going to see is pretty much that the a minstrel, when he's running correctly, is able to keep themselves pretty full on power. They're able to deal out a whole lot of damage, and they can still keep themselves pretty well healed up. Um, obviously, one thing that I'm dealing with is I do have a bit of lag and delay going on because I'm trying to record this at the same time as actually fight. So that's slowing me down, and I'm also mostly just standing here and tanking him because I'm waiting to see if backup's going to come, what exactly is going on. I don't know for sure if he's alone or not. I, mean, I found him in lugs all the way up here, and it's like, oh, okay, this is the first time I've seen a quote-unquote solo minstrel in Helm's Deep, and uh, like, how good are they really solo, because um, certainly against a raid, they don't survive the way that they used to in their the self heals they used to have in War Speech. So I'm trying to close in, do some damage, see how much I'm able to actually whittle away at his morale pool. And it looks like I only took about took off about 2k, and he's just got a couple of low tier heal over times taken away, and those pretty much are enough to replenish him and keep him up against the damage that I can output while I am in commander stance. I've, even though I've got my damage over time available now that I am rank 11, uh, it doesn't hit particularly hard. It certainly isn't doing enough to be a majorly impressive against him. While at the same time, he is able to do a lot of damage. Now one thing that I'm trying desperately to do is that debuff with the green board around it, which is I believe the Call of Arome debuff, uh, basically makes it weaker to light damage. I'm trying to take that off every time that I can. The problem is that the potion to take it off is on a 30 second cooldown if I remember this correctly. But the skill that puts it on there, I, I think it might actually be a couple skills that put it on there, basically is on like a 10 second cooldown so the instant I take it off it's off for like one or two seconds and then I get hit again and it's right back on there so if you're fighting a minstrel don't really worry about that debuff it's, it's nothing you can deal you can get rid of and keep off of you it just keeps on getting stuck on there it basically sits there permanently the, that wasn't always the case it used to be that that debuff you could get rid of it and it would stay off you for a while you could do a good job with your potions and keep that off you more often than not. But they've evidently changed the cooldowns on that or made it so that it pops up from a couple more skills. I'm not sure which because I haven't checked, been up to date on all the changes made to Mistral. But no matter the case, that's pretty much what happens. Now, what I am trying to do here is I'm seeing if I can run him out of power, which for the most part is working. Uh, Banner of Terror does a magnificent job of wiping out his power pool. And uh, there comes a Warden and a Reaver right through the middle of this, so uh, things certainly just got interesting. <laughs> I decide that uh, Mazel Tov is going to be okay on his own for now, and stick on with the Minstrel We'll see what happens as far as Mazel Tov and Eli on the chat window as stuff goes on. Uh, it looks like Eli jumps because Mazel Tov comes back over here to put the hurt onto the minstrel, who promptly flops. Uh, it looks like he ended his flopping a little bit early, and yeah, there looks like a warg has joined as well. Now, if he can manage to jump off of the side here, he has a chance of getting away, but he stops. Uh, he tried to fake us out into jumping off so that he could stay inside. Didn't work, and he ends up going down. You know, I do see a defeat message that says that Eli Wall has killed one of the NPCs, so I'm just walking around to see if I can find him. And pop him up on track, and there he is, just outside of Lugs. So he did jump out, but he started attacking the door guards, and now he's getting chased down by two Reavers and a big rank 11 war leader, and a warg. So he is pretty much finished. Alright, next up yeah, is Farhair, so Warden Vightmore. Uh, at this point, I am leading the raid, and 
I you think that we were in the middle of an door. AFK when I started this whole fight. Um, this was a night where, because yep. of my roommate, I could not talk to the raid without disturbing him and stuff, and I was trying to be considerate or something like that. So yeah. uh, I was not being loud. So I, I was just kind of like, I could totally take this warden alone. I can deal with this before they come back from being AFK and all that stuff. Yeah, I can totally do this. Uh, no, it doesn't really go that way. Uh, warden fights, still very much possible. It's very feasible. Uh, this warden, from the looks of things, he is not built for the red line. He is built in green line. Uh, he still is definitely heavily traded into bleeds, which we wardens on the bleed, they do a lot of damage. But it's nothing that a war leader cannot heal you, especially if you get lucky with your crits. As long as you're built well and uh, stay on top of keeping your heals out there. And the other thing to do is make sure that you're hitting those pots right there like I just did. Take off some of the bleeds he puts out. And here the the raid and various other people just show up because the point of TA is just not a safe place to have a duel. Alright, next, uh, I'm just wandering alone and ran into this guardian bothering some guys, so I go ahead and stick up. Just tag along with him, go see what we can do. Uh, Styx looks like he's just over half health left. Uh, with four monsters out here, it's just not going to go well for him at all. But it did look like there was somebody else out there. Uh, I thought I saw... No, that was just Styx's name that I saw floating over there. It's just him. But, and just a bad place for the Guardian. And really, Elf Camp and Orc Camp are not a place of safety to fight from. Now, a little bit later, I'm, there's more Freeps over here, same kind of thing going on, uh, a lot of the same names involved in this, but as you're going to see, there is a Minstrel who's shown up, we've got Evan Tide here, uh, that, that's not good that we got that particular Minstrel right there, and I believe that Styx is also hanging around, and there should be one other person, so because it's like three or four versus about four I do try to go ahead and invite people, see if I can get a group going, but as it turns out, they are already in a group. So instead I just go ahead and go into heal mode and try to keep people up as much as I can. And unfortunately I've already used my bubble, so it's just going to be stuck doing my single target heal. Which is the one weakness of World Leader Healing, one major weakness, is that we're only really effective if we're grouped up with somebody. And outside of that, it just doesn't work very well. Now right here, I ran into these two freeps inside of the mine, chased them outside, found a, a war king that nearby, and we proceed to attack. And as you can see, when they're busy doing other stuff and not paying attention to the surroundings, uh, then this is what happens. I actually walked up right behind both of them, saw them on their horses, and I followed them over here. I had time to call out an OC have Milt respond, and yeah, that's what you get. And finally, Black Fiddler and I come in to a deal with a couple freeps that got called out inside, as being inside of Grotham. Uh, we've got our, looks like a rank 3 minstrel. Uh, the, the hunter is going to be a problem, but also hanging around here is a burglar who should be popping out of stealth right there. Yep. So it is three versus two, and I am taking a beating. Now, the, at this point, the hunter is also <laughs> focusing on the spider, and oh, right there he does. goes down because our spider goes ahead and hits his damage reflect right in the, while I'm in the middle of hitting a bunch of big heals. So hunter blows himself up, and my big heals go off, keep both of us alive. The minstrel oh, falls yeah. shortly <laughs> after, <laughs> and then <laughs> the burglar really runs away. So that was just good timing on the use of both the damage reflect and also right when the healers were going off worked out perfectly to allow us to win that fight with ease. Uh, if the hunter had not been focused on the spider but had actually been focusing on the war leader instead, it would have been a different story for them. It certainly would have been a lot easier to finish me off because you know, they already had me down to half morale, but bad focus fire good use by the, of skills by the spider and then just a little bit of luck in terms of how well the heals did and how hard the hunter hit 
to uh, reflect on to himself, and we pick up an easy win. Well, that's all I really get for this time. Uh, update 13, I believe, is either out or supposed to be coming out in the very, very near future. It's got some major changes, particularly for Defilers and Spiders. So I'm hoping to have some footage of that in the relatively near future, especially now that I'm no longer having to share a room with a, another person, and now I'm about out in California, and life is just good. Um, another thing I do have, I've got a St. Patrick's Day video that well, I took some footage from, Saint, from the St. Patrick's Day raid. It's only really one fight, but I've also got photos. I'm going to try to put something together with that. Uh, definitely I'm going to show that, that fight and just talk about how the raid dynamics go. So that should be up relatively soon as well. Uh, and most likely these videos are all going to get uploaded together when I actually get internet connection in my room right here because I've got to get all that stuff set up because it came bare bones and... Now I'm moving in right now and just trying to get everything going. But, you know, the Etmores is healthy. That's uh, the one, one thing I want to take away from this. is It is healthy. There's opportunities out there. There's soloing out there. There is small grouping. It's n maybe not of the caliber and quality that everyone wants right now, but at least it's there. And when you have something to start from, you can grow it to become more healthy and get up to the kind of stuff that you want to see so things are looking up that's pretty much where i want to to finish off it's not just a one-sided hopeless struggle or anything like that both sides have their pluses and minuses and they're both out there making it work for them anyway that's all for this time good luck and have fun out there ugmog is out <laughs>